Apple is upping its space game by hiring NASA's own mixed reality ninja Jeff Norris to work on their own set of augmented reality glasses. He's basically like the Chuck Norris of space AR, except he actually likes space and science. Go figure. Now this would make Apple the next big player next to the only three other major hardware contenders in the game, obviously the HTC Vive, the PlayStation VR, and Oculus. But Apple is obviously coming at this from a very different direction than most other companies who are firmly rooted in gaming software. Norris is planning on working with a former Dolby Labs guy named Mike Rockwell, specifically on hardware designed to integrate with the iPhone. Now, since they're coming at this from an angle where the goal of the hardware is different than most other VR headsets, perhaps we can predict that the capabilities and even the actual look of the headsets will end up being wildly different from what we've actually seen on the market thus far. Now, there is definitely some strategy in Apple's choice in timing and in Apple's choice in Norris. Apple is making this mid-industry move probably because they hope to release a super high-end, super well-polished piece of hardware that has a user experience that just blows everybody else out of the water. In fact, while at the Missions Operation Innovation Office at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab, he said that if we put humans on Mars someday, we should have millions of people there with them, standing beside them in this holodeck-like way. In 1969, the television was the most engaging and effective medium for bringing the world along. It was the perfect choice at the time. It's not the perfect choice now. So there you have it. Look, you know what? He may not be the only one who thinks that mixed reality is the medium that will take the world by storm. Space storm. Yeah, I like the sound of that.